10 cool facts about bats. Bats have a lot of superpowers that I can only dream to have. My name is Chris and welcome to Science Talk TV. 10. As blind as a bat. This saying likely was coined over 2,300 years ago by Aristotle. The ancient Greek philosophers didn't know much about bats, and actually, bats are not blind at all. Most bats have excellent vision during the day. Bats are nocturnal though, and rely on echolocation while hunting at night and navigating in caves. Echolocation is an ability to form a 3D spatial image, or a map, of the surrounding area by using sound alone. A quick series of chirps will bounce off of a surface or an insect and then back to the bat's ears. Bats have a special ability to process these incoming sound reflections. Dolphins, whales, and even some blind people use echolocation. 9. A falling takeoff. Most bats can't start flying from the ground. They need to fall about half a meter first to gain some speed and clearance for their fragile wings. If a bat tried to take off from the ground, it would break its wings by flapping them against the hard ground. This is why bats hang upside down high above the ground. They can quickly drop into flight if they are startled from this position, and bats have evolved clamp-like feet that require no energy to grip. Instead, the bat has to use muscles to open the feet, and elastic tendons automatically close them. Even dead bats can stay hanging upside down. Their feet are kind of like these spring-loaded clamps. 8. Bats drink mid-flight. We just discussed how bats can't take off from the ground, and therefore they don't like to land next to a lake to take a drink. They would have to waste their time and energy climbing back up a tree or a cliff to get airborne again. Instead, Bats quickly swoop down and glide over the lake to lap up some water. They will often circle around and have another go, because a single flyby often leaves them still thirsty. I was recently in Indonesia, and I saw bats drinking from the swimming pool. Echolocation allows bats to easily find open water at night. Sound bounces off of the water in a unique way. If a bat does make a miscalculation and crash lands into the water, don't worry, it can still swim quickly using its wings. 7. The most dangerous mammal on Earth. They carry over 60 deadly viruses that can be easily transferred to humans. These viruses include rabies, Marburg, Hendra, Nipah, Ebola, SARS, and MERS. Rabies is 100% fatal, and Ebola can be up to 90% fatal. These viruses that pass from animals to humans are called zoonotic viruses. Viruses breed easily in bats for two main reasons. First, bats live in crowded colonies where disease can spread quickly. And second, bats have a less active immune system than humans do. Bats don't have an extreme response to these viruses. This allows viruses to live longer in bats and also allows the bats to live longer. Humans often die from viral infections because of an overactive immune response called a cytokine storm. And the real kick in the butt is that when these deadly viruses evolve inside of bats, they gain resistance to humans' most effective immune response, fever. The virus strains that survived in bats have already adapted to survive fever themselves. This is because every time a bat flies, the increased metabolic activity raises the temperature of the bat to well above 40 degrees Celsius. So if a deadly virus comes from a bat, it already is immune to the human fever temperature. 6. Living Fossils 65 million years ago, the dinosaurs became extinct, and we had the rise of the mammals. Bats evolved shortly after, 60 million years ago, and haven't changed much since then. Bats are very successful. They are able to eat a variety of food sources, fly, use echolocation, hibernate, 
migrate to better environments, and even work together as an altruistic community. Humans only came to prominence in the last 6 million years, so bats have been thriving 10 times longer. 5. A diverse order. There are over 1,000 different species of bats belonging to the order Chiroptera. This scientific name means hand wing. If you look at a bat's anatomy, you can see the entire wing is just the webbing between the fingers. The wing is not the whole arm, like in birds. Bats are further classified into two families, macro and micro. An example of a macro bat is the flying fox. It weighs one kilogram and has a wingspan of over 1.5 meters. Macrobats eat exclusively fruits. A good example of a microbat is the bumblebee bat. It is the world's smallest mammal and only weighs up to three grams. Bumblebee bats eat insects, but other microbats eat things like frogs, lizards, blood, fish, birds, and even other bats. 4. Draculin Named after the famous Count Dracula from Transylvania, this protein is found in the saliva of vampire bats. Draculin is an anticoagulant and helps blood flow after a vampire bat bites its host. Scientists are researching the use of Draculin to prevent blood clots, heart attacks, and strokes. If you didn't know, in the United States, 80% of all pharmaceutical drugs were discovered by studying nature. 74% of pharmaceuticals came from plants, 18% from fungi, 5% from bacteria, and only 3% from animals. Draculin is still in the research phase, but today, the most common blood additive drug that comes from animals is insulin. Three. Hardy hibernators. Like bears, most cold climate bats sleep all winter to wait for food sources to replenish. Ideal hibernation temperatures are 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. Bats usually hibernate about 6 months, but some cold climate bats actually migrate instead. Bats in Texas migrate to Mexico to survive the winter, chasing the insects. Global warming is changing the migration habits of bats, and it's wrecking havoc on farms. Farmers rely on these bats to population control the insects that would eat their crops. The bats' new behavior may result in failed harvests. 2. We need bats. About 20% of the world's bats are listed as threatened. Even though bats are scary and carry many diseases, we need them. Similar to bees, bats are the only way certain crops can be naturally pollinated. Remember, bats have been around for 60 million years, so many plants rely on bats alone as their pollinators. Without bats, we won't have bananas, avocados, or mangoes. Also, 80 plants currently being harvested for pharmaceutical uses will fail as well. We don't only need bats for pollination. They are essential for insect and pest control. A green farming solution can involve bats instead of dangerous insecticides. If bats go extinct after 60 million years of dominance, it will not only be sad, but a huge blow for several ecosystems and industries. And number one, reciprocal altruism. What does that mean? Reciprocal altruism means helping a struggling individual with the hopes of that individual helping you in the future. Vampire bats eat half of their body weight in blood per night, and they will starve to death in just three days if they can't feed. It comes at a huge cost or sacrifice, but sometimes a vampire bat will regurgitate its entire meal to a completely unrelated bat in the colony. This helps the sick or injured bat who couldn't participate in the night's hunt. It is an uncommon social phenomena, not seen often in nature. If the giving bat is now only two days away from starving to death, it's a huge risk. 
it turns out that the specific bat who got helped and other bats who observed the self licked act won't forget this goodwill. When the helpful bat gets hurt in the future, the colony will remember to return the favor. And at the same time, bats who never reciprocate the favor won't get helped in their time of need. Were you blind as a bat about bats? Check back next week for a new animal video, a one-on-one science education video, or live science news. Thanks for watching Science Talk TV.